Hello, this is Gretchen and this is the Vintage Seagull. Um, first and foremost, I'll just ask if you can like and subscribe to the channel so we can build it up. This is a continuation of the fall fashion videos. Um, we're now on to Halloween. So um, I'm taking 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s and we're trying to stylize the clothing to be festive not necessarily costumes but there might be some costumey um, images and sewing patterns as well so i tried to take black and orange like bats and you know cats and halloweeny kind of things and put them together um so you could dress vintage but then show you're celebrating halloween and um Again, I will do a voiceover with uh, photos for each time period, so you can get representation from the time period that you like to portray. So this is uh, the 1920s um, Halloween fashion. And again, I had to follow a lot of the different colors for these, so I tried to include, you know, black and orange and like um, mustard or acorn kind of colors of the different time periods. So again, since this is a bit more obscure, some things we will need to um, focus on our uh, patterns, artwork, and if someone does sewing or if someone on Etsy can make this for you. So this first one is like a light orange with some black sequins for a nice short 20s dress then we have some these are children's dresses but an adult could do this you could get a brown um or actually orange jumper rather in a nice um blouse and they have some black shoes you could put something like that together and look um very vintage just using the color palette these next two pictures are um halloween costumes so um, I said I wasn't going to get too Halloween-y, but they have uh, different different ones here, some um, longer 20s outfits. So they have 18th century, they have a clown, um, but the top two on the book ending the picture, they look, you know, floral or a plaid. So those are some things you could do for 20s. This next one's in color. This is more of what I was looking for um, because the woman towards the bottom has a dress with owls and bats on it. The woman on the stairwell has a cat and a crescent moon. The person with the banjo has some pumpkins um, and the girl next to her him has stripes. And then the two people below have um, kind of the squares that look court jestery, stripes and pumpkins. So looking for outfits that have the um, Halloween themes and accents, these different um, animals and, and figures that include Halloween but aren't like a costume. So something like this, someone could sew and look very 20s. This last one, um, the woman has a long orange um, dress with the black accents on the collar line. Then this other woman has navy blue with plaid. So two people could dress like that for something so really using the colors and the themes of halloween again cats bats um i don't like spiders but you could use spiders they used owls they use stripes any kind of fall harvest or the animals that are part of halloween would be a good fit for this moving on to the 1930s so we have these this pattern here of the woman with a long sleeve dress orange with fabric covered buttons some pleats on the top and a belt then we have another woman with a black short sleeve version i don't see fabric buttons or a belt but she's got it looks like um some piping on the neckline that might be orange and a brooch she could put on or sew on uh, probably one that you could just uh, pin to yourself or you could get like Again, a brooch with some of these Halloween characters. So jack-o'-lanterns, owls, uh, bats, and cats that would actually make an outfit look very Halloween-y or other kinds of jewelry. 
She also has, it looks like an orange purse and an orange hat with a um, black bow. So that's very um, Halloween-y. Then we have this other dress that has um, um, a mustard or squash top and then a black bottom. So combining those colors. Then we have some plaids here. This could also work for Thanksgiving. This woman has a, or this mannequin rather, has a plaid lightweight um, dress with the orange and the fall colors. Then here's another one. This looks like the black with the mustard with the bow, really nice. And then here's a dress, and this probably could pass for 60s too. So it's orange with black lace trim, um, black piping, black neckline. Then this is a simple dress. Um, I think this is a reproduction you can get online. So you could do this with a shirt. Um, you could do it with a dress. You could do it if you had pants or something, but it's just the, your classic orange and black stripe kind of uh, material. So that looks kind of witchy and cool. And I know like now they have like witch hats that are like very rustic. They're kind of like Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter you could wear and do that kind of thing. Then I really like this dress that's black with the orange trim on the bottom and the top. Um, it looks like it has kind of a Japanese neckline, but it's like a super dark orange. Looks really cool. Then we have this dress, which is looks like very uh, thin and lightweight black with a little bit of orange trim. Then we have this super burnt orange, almost red rust color um, 30s dress. Really dark. Looks like it's got some um, gold uh, detail and things like that. Now some more formal ones. So this is a nice super brown dress um, with some really burnt orange uh, top to it to combine those colors. And then here's another black and um, orange dress. So this could be kind of 20s. Maybe it's a crossover between 20s and 30s. So she's got a super long black skirt. She's got um, orange uh, top that's kind of triangle shape and she's got like a black stomacher. She's holding a purse and she's got some fabric with um, black and orange. So maybe she's got a shawl that matches. I kind of wish that was showcased, but that would look really cool. Again, taking an orange and black separates or dress together or have some make it can really do it. I love this um, dress. This is like a bronze gold kind of fabric with some sequins and a belt. I saw this online and this is for sale. So I don't know if this is vintage or a designer, but it was almost $4,000, so I couldn't afford it. But I think I could have someone make this for me really cheaply. I just really love this. This is a nice formal um, gown that would be great for October and November. It's really gorgeous. And lastly, here is three gowns. So you have an orange with a black kind of petering through. And then you have like an ivory with this looks like birds or some sort of design to me and then like a reddish salmon color so i want to showcase these because we want to have some formal wear as well so the 30s actually has some really good halloween looks now on to 1940s so some of these first few will be kind of basic these are more just fall kind of thing. So she's got a nice pleated uh, short sleeve sweater that is a light brown with a brown detailing on the top and a nice, this might be an olive green skirt or brown skirt. And then you have um, another set of ladies who have a victory suit um, brown um, with pinstripe and then one that's just plain brown. I have a plain brown victory suit, I think from Heyday from England. It was pretty pricey. They look like they might be at Washington DC, which is cool. The woman with the pinstripe has a hat. They both have some elegant brown uh, heels. The other woman has a white button down. Um, so yeah, doing this kind of fall brown kind of look. Then we have this nice mustard uh, swing dress. I want to get something like this um, just in general, but great for those fall colors. Then we have, um, again, a mustard dress here with fabric covered buttons and um, pleating and piping and belts. So with a navy blue, so that's kind of a, a 
cool combination. I would recommend doing a mustard with a navy blue. It's a great color combo. Then this dress, it's hard to see, but it's a plaid. It's like a brown or a black with orange. So this would be great for Halloween. This one is a doll, um, but I wanted to throw this in because someone could sew this. So you have like a bright orange with yellow kind of dress with, you know, nice puff sleeves and piping on the sleeve line and a belt that's yellow with some orange. So that's a cool look for someone to sew that. This is um, another 1940s dress. To me, this looks 80s because I, they probably the style came back in the 80s, but um, she's got the dark classic orange with more of a, a peach light orange on the top with the belt and the button. So, you know, mixing some orange shades is good. Then we have this woman wearing a plaid dress. So again, with those colors, you could do get a plaid that's like black and orange with white. Um, or other colors that are kind of fall, but black and red is so Halloween-y. This is a basic, I think this is from Pin Up Girl Clothing, but just taking a black dress. Um, we, she's wearing fishnets, black heels. She has some orange jewelry. You could do a brooch. So just taking your simple black and adding some jewelry and accessories. Then this woman here has a black and orange dress. I think I've seen something like this in the old 40s movies. And she's got a matching hat and heels. So again, someone could sew a dress with a black and orange. And then here are some separates. This woman has a very bright orange long sleeve top blouse and um, a black pencil skirt. And then you could do a black jacket or whatnot. Then um, this is more a novelty, which in the 50s section, there'll be some more novelty things. And I don't know how common this was but there was some pictures in that 20s section where people had these halloweeny things on here so this is um jack-o-lanterns and candy corns on the bottom with a uh, black top and these kinds of dresses you can buy on amazon pretty easily to celebrate the holidays and there are some cardigans and sweaters with bats and cats i've seen as well and the last 40s one here this looks like it might be an Etsy or again, a novelty remake. So it's a light lavender purple with uh, black bats and a black belt and um, arm pleat, pleat piping as well. The last Halloween section is the 50s. And again, this will have a lot of more novelty style. So um, again, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but if you want to look vintage, and like say you're going to a function or something at work, I think it's just fine. The first one is like a mustardy a plaid um, with a bow on the top and a belt. So that looks really cool. You could also have this look here, which is the uh, poodle skirt, which is not my typically typical look, but I like the um, dark mustard orange brown um, skirt. So you could do something like that. And then this one, she's, it's like a diner dress. So she's got um, black with orange piping with some uh, kind of scenes on it. Then we have another plaid. So this is an orange and black kind of plaid. It's very summery. So I guess for Halloween, if you live in California or something, you could wear that. And then this one, it's like a skirt with a, a bustier kind of thing. This might be spiders. So it's white with black spiders i believe and then orange uh, piping to have like a very s if you live in a warm climate for halloween then we have another uh, novelty dress here this is just um, webs and candy and skulls and jack-o-lanterns circle dress sleeveless then this one has an orange kind of sweetheart neckline black and white stripe and jack-o-lanterns then we have this has a orange checkered with um looks like lots of owls and jack-o'-lanterns and howling creatures and a black satin belt then this one has um a black scalloped really nice neckline long sleeve with a, a black ribbon and then she's got this dress has some scenes of jack-o'-lanterns um the moon with bats 
And here's just a classic orange 50 style circle dress. You could wear a black cardigan with it. Um, you could do a brooch. You could do a lot with just the two colors. Then we have a very light um, kind of Marilyn Monroe um, orange dress here, halter. You could add the belt, you could add the cardigan. As you see, there's some changes here. And then there's this one that is, this is kind of goth, which you could wear some goth um, or Victorian styles too. So it is has green with some skulls on the print on the skirt and the, and the bust line. You have, um, it's kind of cut out a bit where those fabrics are in there. Black with some buttons, has a bow on the top and you know, it's long sleeve. The last one here, I wanted to show a nice 50s dinner party. So um, this could also be 60s. So there's a woman with like a champagne colored dress with some flowers and another one with more of an orange color. So if you wanna look more classy and traditional, you could do that for the 1950s for Halloween. Hopefully you have enjoyed um, my take on vintage fashion for Halloween. Just, you know, regular kind of vintage clothes, not costumes. And um, the last fall um, theme video I'm going to do is the clothing for Thanksgiving. And then later on, I'll do some more like winter and holiday kinds of outfits. And um, we will see you on the next video.